Okay. You want to pick them up? You go ahead. Feel like an auctioneer. Yes, ma'am. I have uh, this is general question and also um, a little bit of a problem. Whenever you call uh, your congressman, sometimes the people don't know the state they're representing. And it's really nice to hear somebody says Arkansas and not Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to meet with Mr. Snyder in July. My uh, grandson Luke has epilepsy. I'm also going to meet with uh, several people, other uh, congressmen. It's a shame when other congressmen contact you, not from your state, to say, well, you're doing something about it. Come talk to me. We've got to be proactive. And when people uh, don't know what's going on in their own state that's working in your office, so when you're elected, and I think that's what you are, the people need to know what's going on in this state. Because I've talked to Mr. Scott, I've talked to Mr. Well, we live here. I'm sure they do. You've got to have people in Washington. They need to be aware of what's going on here. And you got to at least teach them first how to say Arkansas, <clears throat> even if they can't say it like me. <clears throat> well, I, I will say this. Uh, I, I totally agree. I think it's common sense that uh, it's unfortunate that they don't follow that. And I know uh, a lot of folks will hire staff regardless of where they're from. And they have no clue. And it aggravates me when I'm watching the tornado deal. We've had a lot of them lately on TV and they're tracking the tornado and, and, and the, the weather guy goes down in Chidester, <laughs> there the tornado's about to hit Camden. Well my wife was in Camden that night and I was a little thrown off as to what he was talking about because it's Chidester, we know that. And uh, so yeah, maybe we ought to have a, a, cultural, uh, a, a cultural class uh, when they first start. But uh, your point is taken and if I ever hire someone that can't pronounce Arkansas, please call me. We'll, we'll either teach them or replace them. Yes, sir? It's really a problem because our president has just called the Marine Corps. <laughs> yes, yes. Even lowly Army folks like me know that you don't call the Marines Marine Corps. Corps is what the Marines do to terrorists. <laughs> Thank you all so much. I'm going to go uh, give me some NyQuil. i got to finish strong, so I, I appreciate everything. I appreciate your hospitality. I really do. And if you have any question for me before Election Day, obviously you can go through the normal channels of clicking on the website, but let me give you my cell phone if you care to have it. I want you to call me and ask me because I want to answer your question. It's 501. 837-5190. And if it ends up on the internet, no, I'm kidding. It's probably already on there. Uh, that's, and my, my email is jtg at timgriffinforcongress.com. Please personally ask me. I just want you to have all the information before you vote, regardless of how you vote. Happy to answer those questions. We've got materials at the back. Thank you all so much.